1975, I was driving to a gig at Lampeter University in South Wales, and I came around, it was in January, I came around a corner and over a snowbank in front of me was a red kite. And at that point, there were about 50 pairs, they were all in mid Wales. It was so beautiful and so rare that I literally almost crashed the car. And in about 84, they started to reintroduce them. And they reintroduced them into Chilterns to start with, just north of London. Now there are in excess of 12,000 pairs of red kites. And if you go downtown in most of the big cities that have big churches, you'll find peregrines and stuff. So we can actually make a difference if we set our minds to it, or we can just let it go on to please people with lots of money. And the last verse talks about something that they do um, on grouse moors, which is set fire to them. And they set fire to them to produce little green shoots for the grouse the following spring. In October of last year, I was on the road and I drove back to Sheffield after my last gig. And I live at the top of a hill, and the closer I got to the top of the hill, the worse the visibility got. And I was going, wait a minute, it was sunny down at the bottom of the hill, why is it not up here? And when I got to the top of the hill and I, I opened the car window and I could smell the smoke, and there was a grouse, a grouse fire, effectively, across the valley. And the city of Sheffield said, uh, don't go out and close your windows because the air pollution is so bad. <laughs> so this is called Sky Houses. <laughs> Thank you. 